We were really excited to be asked to be a part of this project. This is a new build home by Nick Developments and he had the help of designer Victoria Miss Food and it looks great. They had beautiful finishes and it was just such a great place to start. After they purchased this home from the builder, our clients Amy and Chris asked us to come and furnish it, which was really exciting. We actually helped them with their previous home, which was really great, but it was a smaller home and they didn't want us to bring any of that furniture. So we were able to start from scratch. Amy and Chris have three young children, twin boys and a little girl. The finishes of the home are very elevated and while we love that look and it's really beautiful, we wanted their home to feel approachable. All the things that we incorporated, like the textures and the patterns and the rugs and the draperies, we really wanted them to feel muted as well as family friendly. When you enter the home, you're wowed by all the beautiful features. There's a combination of beautiful millwork and hardware, as well as the really nice tile on the foyer floor. Since this foyer is so large, we were able to incorporate a really expansive console. We didn't need extra storage in this console area because there's so much storage on the other side, but we incorporated a really large brown mirror and some accessories. And even though the scale is large, it really feels proportionate in this space. This kitchen is really sexy. I love all the black that was incorporated. Usually a black kitchen might make something feel smaller, but you can see that the builder really went for it. He owned the black. It's in the beautiful quartz countertops, as well as the backsplash, even in the cabinetry. I also love all the gold piping around the cabinetry. It looks stunning and it really says, look at me, I'm a beautiful kitchen. You know that someone invested in this space and I think it's just drop dead gorgeous. The gold is everywhere. You have gold in the wall sconces and the pendants and the hardware and the faucet, which is just beautiful, right? And just has like a grand feel to it. I love a breakfast nook and I was really happy to see this incorporated into this home. We added full leather banquette seating, which is great, super wipeable, as well as pillows that were already treated in a Krypton fabric. So they're very user friendly. We designed this table for these clients. It's very hardworking. To me, even if a fork goes into it, we're not gonna worry about it at all. And my favorite part might be the base. It's just really beautiful and a little bit different. Opposite the kitchen is our beautiful great room. Again, standout features in the built-ins, which are really beautiful. The fireplace surround incorporated the same quartz as the kitchen, which is really nice. We have large sectional in the rec room as well as the theater room downstairs. So we purposefully gave them two sofas, two chairs, just to accommodate guests. And it's a little bit more of an adult space. As you can see, this dining room has really gorgeous built-ins, lots of wine storage. When we were asked to furnish this space, we really wanted it to be able to receive family and friends and not feel too stuffy. So we designed this white oak table, which is really beautiful and can house a lot of people, as well as these upholstered chairs. Now the upholstery was treated. So again, really nice for young children and entertaining so they don't have to be too fussy or too worried about those beautiful pieces. Because these clients work full time and live really busy lives, they wanted their principal bedroom to just feel like a retreat for them. I love the beautiful wall moldings. The color is nice and saturated, which feels really relaxing. We wanted a king size bed that was upholstered. We were able to incorporate 36 inch end tables, which is really great. And then the most beautiful thing in this bedroom is the walkout to the beautiful pine trees. When you walk into the principal ensuite, you're blown away right away by the beautiful stone that carries up behind the tub as well as the shower surround. It's really beautiful and the veining is just incredible. There wasn't the space to incorporate a really large vanity, but I really like the fact that we still have two sinks and a lot of storage. 
Designing the twin boys' bedrooms was really fun. They're super cute, but they have their own personalities with wall molding and ceiling moldings and beautiful door details, as well as huge windows, as well as custom furnishings. So I'm really excited about the large rug that we incorporated that's pretty kid-friendly and durable for these little ones, as well as a large bed and two nightstands, which help store all their toys. For both bedrooms, we used linen bedding. This might sound counterintuitive because linen wrinkles, but actually it's really great because it naturally wrinkles. There's just always those wrinkles throughout as opposed to cotton that either looks pressed or isn't. So you can see this bedding actually looks incredible, but it's very casual and linen actually can be used for kids. I really like how cute and kind of kid-like this bathroom is, but it still feels sophisticated. So while it's great for children, it'll also grow with them in years to come. The basement is everyone's dream come true, really. It has a great rec room, which we outfitted with a durable rug, as well as a really large durable sectional dark fabric, pre-treated, so really great for the kids. As well, they have a great bar area. So these clients like to entertain. There's lots of fun to be had over by the bar area. And then the adjacent wine room is honestly a showstopper. One of the things I really like about this home is the attention to detail. All the built-ins in the different rooms are all different and unique in their own special ways. In this rec room, we have this beautiful painted millwork with the TV and the fireplace, but it's different than upstairs in the great room, which I really like. This home wouldn't be complete without its own custom theater room. So we're pretty excited about this space. It's such a fun area. Even though the room is big, we actually didn't have a ton of length in the room to do platform seating. For this room, it was square, so it just made sense to do this custom sectional. It's the largest one we've ever designed. It's 15 feet by 11 feet, and it's 42 inches deep. So it's really great to snuggle up on. We wanted to design this ottoman so you could put your feet up, but also put your popcorn and put your drink. So we did this custom wood wrap around the ottoman so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Usually in a project, you don't pick everything from the beginning. Usually you're incorporating the client stuff, which is fun and it's great when they have some real treasured pieces, but it's actually really exciting when you can start from fresh. When Amy asked me to help furnish her new home, I was super excited. We've been family friends forever, but it puts a little bit of pressure on me because I want it to go well. But it was actually really nice. They were super easygoing, really trusted us throughout the whole entire project. And I think it turned out really well because there was that trust involved and we just really got along the whole time and it worked out really well.